right, folks, we're back from Monster Marine. Today we have a 1998 Regal 2760 Commodore. It's a really nice boat, really clean. We just fully went through the boat. Fully went through, I mean, we did the spark plugs, plug wires, distributor cap, rotor, oil changes, filter changes, fuel water separator filters. Fluid, propellers, what else? All kinds of stuff. Then we buffed the boat, went through it. Really nice, really clean boat. Everything works on it. Um, runs out great now after the fresh service. It's got bottom paint on it, spotlight, stainless crab rails. As you can see, the outside of this boat is in great shape for a 98. I'm not going to tell you it's perfect. It's got a couple. It's got a couple little boo-boos on it. Nothing major. It's all little gel coat repair things. If you want those repaired, we can take care of it for you. It's a Lake Norman boat. It's got SX drives. Again, as you can see, this other side the boat's really nice, really shiny. There's no oxidation or fading in the boat. There is a chip in the gel coat right here, just docking from somebody, so we'll dock chip. We can get that taken care of. If you want it taken care of, just call us. We'll be more than happy to do that and work with you. Really nice, really clean boat. As I said, it's got bottom paint on it. And it is a Lake Norman boat. The trailer it's sitting on is not included in the sale, but if you need a trailer, feel free to call us. It's one of our yard trailers. We should be more than happy to work your price on a used one or a new one. We're an easy loader dealer. It's not an exaggeration. I sell trailers for less than anyone. I sell new trailers for what I pay for them, I'm like everybody else. Huge swim platform, four room stainless ladder. Boat has nice walk around ability. Now, it doesn't have a radar arch. What it has is these two things on the side, not the center, so it's each his own. Makes it a little better if you're have to deal with bridge clearances or whatever. We're gonna hop inside and show you the boat. We're back inside this Regal 2760. Interior is in great shape. There are two little spots right here on the interior. I don't know what those are from, but of course over time things happen. But other than that, it's in great shape. It's just was fully clean. We also conditioned it with some 303 to make it nice and soft and supple, so it's not hard or anything. You got a sink. You have in here, you have two batteries with a 6,000 watt power inverter. What that means is you don't have to have a generator on this boat because it doesn't have one, but you can power everything on board. That means you can power your refrigerator, you can power your AC, everything while you're out on the water and you don't have to listen to a noisy generator. Nice L-shaped seating right here. You have a dual seat captain's chair with a flip up bolster right here. You have at your helm station, you have your factory gauges which are in great shape. You have map storage right here. All your factory switches, trim tabs, shifters. Now, the couple electronics on this boat, the sea view and this Garmin GPS are antiquated. Um, if, they were, if it was me, I would replace them because they're old technology. Um, very cheap, you can buy an all-in-one that will go right here for, let's say, $300. It'll be a color screen, it'll do the GPS and the chart plotting, everything like that. Boat has a windshield wiper, forward sun pad, spotlight as I said earlier. It has clear our Kenwood radio controller right here. The radio is inside. Nice walk up where you can access the bow for hanging out. Let's slide this open. Cabin, let me open this. Look at that. Walk down the stairs. You got a nice grab handle right here. Kitchenette, single burner stove. Sink, your control panel for everything. This turns on everything. You can switch your shore power over here. Microwave, cabinets, lighting storage. You have your refrigerator right here. You have, this boat has both AC and heat. Your controller's right here. Of course, we're not hooked up to shore power, so it's not gonna power on. Everything on this boat does work, though, I will say that. AC turns this thing into an icebox. Kenwood radio, mid-berth. You have a forward bed, 
Then in here, you have the bathroom, which hopefully I don't have to tell you how to use that. But if you but if you need somebody to, I got a guy that works for me that might be able to help you. No, I'm just kidding. We make fun of him. It's okay. If you come here, he'll tell you how to do something, though. So it is yacht certified. It has two Volvo Penta 4.3 GLs. Um, I'm going to open this. Now, I'm not going to take the back seat out like you would if you wanted it to open all the way. So all I'm going to do is open it. I'm just going to hold it up. As you see, it won't go up all the way. But you can see it's really nice and clean in the bilge. As I said, we fully serviced the boat, went through and did everything. There's nothing that needs to be done, nothing that can be left to be done to it. Um, let's close that. You have a shower back here, which has hot and cold water. Pull out your handle right here. Let's wash your feet off so you don't get sand on the boat. Um, again, really nice, clean boat. It has 520 engine hours on it. Lake Norman boat, really nice, really clean. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. You can call me on my cell. I'm the owner of the dealership. My name's Seth, 941-730-5959. Or you can see in the listing, our dealership phone number will be on there, as well as the sign car number on the back behind us. I don't know if you can see that. But we'll be more than happy to help you in any way we can. Good luck bidding.